In this video, on how to create a new page, we'll create a page which returns JSON with one parameter, the message Hello World. To add a new page in Magento 2, you need to create a new controller. In Magento 2, a controller is a file located at a specific place which responds to a specific route. A route in Magento 2 is a standard URL that consists of three parts, the front name, the controller name, and the action name. We'll look at how those three parts of a URL correspond to a certain file. So the steps we need to take to add a new page are 1. Create a new module. 2. Add a routes.xml file. And 3. Add a controller or action file. Let's go through each step. 1. Create a new module. We will create a new module called Learning Hello Page. Now create two files, Learning Hello Page Registration, and learning hello page etsy module.xml. Step two, add a routes.xml file. Let's take a brief look at how routing works in Magento 2. Each area, in our case frontend and admin HTML, has a corresponding merged routes.xml file, which is merged from the etsy slash area slash routes.xml file from every module. That routes.xml file contains information about all registered routes and front names. Recall that a front name is the first part of a route, so we should register it in the routes.xml file and associate it with a module. It is possible to have multiple modules associated with one route, so we can create pages under the catalog front name. Now, since we're working in the front-end area, we'll add the Etsy front-end routes.xml file for our learning homepage module. We added a new route here called learning. Note, it does not have to match the module name. And a new front name. Often, the route and the front name are the same, for example, catalog, but it is not required. When Magento 2 sees a URL like test slash chunk 2 slash chunk 3, it will check whether our module learning hello page has a folder controller slash chunk 2 and an action file chunk 3.php. Our route will be test slash page slash view. Step 3, add a controller or action file. Let's add the controller now. Let's create an action file called controller page view.php. Note, we created a JSON type page. This can be seen in the result factory that we specify in our constructor. In order to activate our module and our page, we should run the Magento setup upgrade. Now we need to verify that learning hello page is present in the output. If you examine the test slash page slash view page, you should see message hello world. This is because we returned a result JSON object. Magento 2 has different result objects for different cases. Result page for a regular page, forward result, and so on. We used a JSON result here because the goal was to illustrate how to create a new page, not to dig into the view later, which would require activation to use the page result object.